Ah, I knew it. You couldn't stay away. I couldn't after I got this. Please join me on the New Year's Eve Express departing Santa Barbara Central Station December 31st at 7.30 p.m. an evening to make memories. What kind of memories? Oh, lovely ones. The whole family. If you don't come, there'll be a terrible gap. That's emotional blackmail, C.C. Capwell. So where are you taking the whole family? Oh, I can't. I can't give details about that. It'll ruin the surprise. You gonna accept the invitation or what? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. You're gonna love the trip. It's a trip you'll never regret. Unlike the one you have been thinking of taking. That's sneaky. That's very sneaky of you. You said you would not pressure me about the business trip to Europe. I'm not, my darling. I'm not. If you want to take a six-month trip away from all the people you love and adore to go to Europe, that's your decision, isn't it? That's right. That's right. Whatever. I'll make a promise to you. Tonight is going to be one of the most wonderful nights of your life. Jack Rawson was murdered to keep him from talking. All right, where's your proof? We came up with some new evidence. Hi. Hi. Oh, I went outside. No, stick around. You should hear this, too. We found the syringe the nurse used to administer that sedative to Jack Rawson. It contained traces of digitalis. Someone switched the needles. Who's? I know that look. He's optimistic. You are, aren't you? I'm damned optimistic. This man just made a mistake. A big one. Give me a hint so I know what to wear. Baby, you can come as you are. I mean, when we're underway, you can then decide what fits your mood. You have a whole selection on board. You're incredible. I know. That's what I've been telling you. <laughs> Sometimes you can be the most romantic man in the world. I want to be there for you all the time. You say that now. But what about once you think you've got me? Then it'll be even better. I just want you to believe it. See, the person who switched those needles had to know the digitalis is not traceable, had to have access to the drug and knowledge of what a lethal dose would be. See, the autopsy showed the same amount of sedatives in Jack's bloodstream as the nurse said she injected. So he also knew what a standard dosage would be in a person in Jack's condition. He must have known that that would cover him, thinking that we wouldn't suspect he'd switch the needles. Jack said the man entering the medication room was wearing surgical greens. Hmm. Maybe it was a doctor. Or a medical student or a pharmacologist. All right, well, that certainly narrows it down. What do we do next? I'm going to check everyone uh, that has had access to that room, took out digitalis or that particular sedative in the last few weeks. In fact, if you'll excuse me, I was about to start on that right now. Good luck. Okay, I'll wait for you here. Okay. Thanks. <coughs> so, this may be it. How do you feel? Hopeful. Angry. He's just disrupted so much of our lives in the past few months. I mean, Cruz and I have been like puppets being dragged at the end of a string. And now he's causing us to miss a celebration, a New Year's celebration with my family. Listen, maybe you, you all can go after. No. no. My father has planned a special train trip. And I kind of thought it might be the last time before baby was born that Cruz and I could be together alone. But no, no, we're going to stay here and we're going to track down this madman. And I know this sounds really, really selfish that there are hundreds of other parties, but... I understand. Really, I do. It's New Year's Eve. Everybody wants to be with someone that they love. Yeah, and I wish you had made up with Mason so you would be coming to this party. Thanks. Listen, maybe he'll change his mind. He'll take the night off and you can go anyway. No. I don't think I'm going to tell him about it. He's been too close on this case to stop now. And maybe, just maybe, by New Year's Day, we'll be rid of this nightmare forever. Julia, why don't you stop by tonight? Well, I have a date. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. I should have realized. With Samantha. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking forward to spending a nice, cozy evening with my daughter. We'll clink bottles at nine, maybe go to sleep at ten. Should be very exciting. Well, how about a brief stop on the way home? <laughs> I'd love to. I can't, really. I have to take this dress back that Augusta gave me. This is the only day, I, last day, that I can take it back. She thinks that I need to change my image to something a little more exciting. Oh, well, let me see. Maybe I can uh, do something about it for me. 
Are you serious? No. <laughs> That's Stop really it. ugly. You're, you're scaring me. <laughs> Listen, you know what? I think I think that you should ask Cruz or tell him about the party. And I I think that he may want to go anyway. Oh, I don't know? want to pressure him into it. Hi. Hi. That was fast. Well, I don't want to be late. For what? Your dad's party. You know about it? Oh, he called here uh, when we didn't respond, and I took the liberty of saying we'd go. I hope that was okay. Well, what is uh, so amusing here? Nothing. Well, what about the investigation? Well, I started going down the list, and everybody I wanted to, uh, to talk to was either away for the holidays or gone for the weekend. So I figured we're going to have to wait until uh, all the fun stuff is over, which is okay with me. I think it's time for us to make tracks if we want to be on that train. to make tracks to be on the train and it's kind of a mm. these are the jokes <laughs> you know you really are wonderful <laughs> i'm crushed actually what are you doing here julia are you waiting are you gonna be here tonight or something no i'm just gonna work a little longer do you mind if i use your office they're cleaning mine be my guest right, i'll go get my files have a happy new year thanks you too sweet you too you really are funny. Thank you. <sighs> oh, no. What? What's wrong? I, uh, don't have anything to wear. Oh, well. You know, I like you best au naturel anyway. Yeah, well, not everybody likes me that way. I, I'm serious. I, I don't, I think it's too late to go out and get anything. Oh, my goodness. I guess we won't be able to go to the big party. Listen, I am going to this party if I have to wear Julia's leopard-style thing as a sarong. Well, that, that, that's an idea. Yeah. You don't take this seriously at all, do you? Maybe that's because there's a surprise waiting for you at home. Is it a dress? It is, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. Why are you so great? You, you think of everything? Well, I try. I try. Mm. Can we go now? Yes. <laughs> After you, dear. Wait, how is it that you knew to buy me a dress when you just found out about the party? Your father left it for you. And you were going to try to cut it for it? I told you I'd try. You know, if you weren't so wonderful, I could get really mad at you. You weren't so loco, I could reveal my motive. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna make tracks for the train.